Hello everybody, this is Dr. David Jockers and today we are talking about the top 10 ways to overcome a sore throat. And I think everybody that's out there that's listening has experienced a sore throat at times. It can be extremely annoying, a major nuisance, and most people really turn to things they find at CVS or a drugstore in order to overcome it or they just kind of bear with it. But I'm going to go over actual strategies that you can take to knock this thing out quickly. We're also going to talk about different things people are doing on a regular basis that actually contribute to, to causing a sore throat. So that's what we're going to go through. And just a little bit about myself. If you don't know me, my name is Dr. David Jockers. I am a doctor of natural medicine and I specialize in functional nutrition, corrective chiropractic care, and working with people to help them overcome chronic conditions and support the body's immune system. I really specialize in um, helping people with their digestive tract, helping improve digestion and autoimmunity, as well as um, helping people overcome things like cancer. And uh, so you can see some pictures of me here. I speak in a lot of uh, online summits and online events. I also speak all around the country on a number of different health topics and churches and organizations. And here's my beautiful family, my wife, Angel, and my twin boys, David and Joshua. And so let's jump into this. So let's look at what a sore throat really looks like. And so we know, obviously, we experience the throat pain. Other symptoms would be painful swallowing. Oftentimes, our tonsils can be very, very swollen. Our tonsils are really like our first line of defense for our immune system. In fact, you know, they, for years, they would just take kids' tonsils out because they thought that they were an elective organ, meaning an organ that wasn't really necessary. But we know today that, the, that if you get your tonsils taken out, you have a 300% increased risk of developing pneumonia or bronchitis. Why? Because the tonsils are a key immune organ that helps protect our, resp our respiratory tract, our, our lungs from infection. So we want to keep those, and they will get swollen if we have an infection in our throat. Uh, tiny red spots on the area at the back or the roof of the mouth. So the, the palate will oftentimes get red spots. Swollen, tender lymph nodes in our neck, I've probably all experienced that before. Fevers, headaches, rashes, sometimes uh, nausea, body aches, because really our body's creating an immune response. And one thing that we know, if we look at like a bacterial or a viral infection that may be contributing to the sore throat, the bacterial infection typically will have like whitish spots. Those are little cultures of bacteria uh, and those are basically they're propagating and causing, causing uh, you know, basically colonies of, of bacteria there that are, are eating and damaging our tissue. So obviously not what we want. Um, we can also have a gray furry tongue. That's uh, also very, very common. Whereas with the viral, you'll see swollen tonsils. Um, you see that with both of them, but really it's, it's mostly swollen tonsils. You typically don't see the uvula, that little center spot, little center indentation on the hard palate. You don't usually see that be, be swollen. Um, and then of course, with both of them, you've got a sore throat. So this is one way to tell bacterial or viral. A lot of times medical doctors will just give you an antibiotic. And oftentimes it's a viral infection. And we know that antibiotics don't do anything for a virus. In fact, they only hurt the immune system even more because we get all the good bacteria that lines our sinuses, our respiratory pathways, our gut lining. So if we're to get a antibiotic for a viral infection, we actually only weaken our body even more. So that's not what we want to do. Instead, we want to start looking at things we can do on a regular basis to overcome the sore throat naturally. And one thing that we can do is definitely avoid sugar, fruit juices, because the fruit juice will turn into sugar, which sugar completely damages our immune system. Um, in fact, a blood sugar of 120, which is very common in our society. If you have a fasting blood sugar of 120, you, uh, you're, you're considered a diabetic, or basically you're diabetic. You're uh, or just around there, pre-diabetic, moving in a diabetic state. However, most people don't have a a uh, fasting blood sugar of 120, but in between meals, because they eat high carbohydrate meals, they will oftentimes have a blood sugar of 120 or more. So fruit juice is one of those things that does that. And when we have a uh, blood sugar of 120 or more, it reduces what's called our phagocytic index or the ability of our white blood cells to destroy bacteria and viruses by 75%, meaning that we only have 25% the strength of our immune system when we do that. So it's so important that we keep the sugar, uh, things that turn into sugar, 
down as much as possible. Now, we don't want toxins either. So artificial sweeteners, so sweet and low or, or um, things like Splenda and aspartame, we definitely want to avoid these things. Alcohol, conventional dairy, which uh, is, is very damaging for our immune system. Grass-fed raw dairy possibly could be really good uh, for many people, but definitely not conventional dairy. And then high amounts of caffeine can also be a problem for many of our immune system by wearing down our adrenals. So you got to be careful with that. Caffeine should only be consumed in moderation. And that's important. One, maybe two cups of coffee max daily. And if you have a sore throat, it's best to just keep that out and stick with herbal teas like we're going to talk about. So top 10 remedies. Uh, number one, gargling with diluted apple cider vinegar. This can be extremely helpful. So I typically recommend diluting apple cider vinegar in like, for example, one tablespoon per eight ounces. However, uh, at times, if you have a real sore throat, you may even just want to shoot a little bit of apple cider vinegar, like a tablespoon and two ounces of water, uh, which will create more of a sterilizing effect. So you could try that. Um, you could obviously dilute it down more. It just won't be as powerful or as potent. So try doing a tablespoon in two ounces of water and gargling that, and it'll have much greater effect. Um, drinking lemon water, we're going to talk a lot more about that, but that's so powerful. The vitamin C and the citrus bioflavonoids that are in the lemon water, so good for the immune system, such a powerful remedy. Oil pulling, uh, vitamin C, so whenever I have individuals with uh, colds, flus, sore throats, we definitely pound the vitamin C. We're going to talk more about that. Ginger tea, bone broth, garlic and onions, zinc supplementation, which um, most people don't really know how important that is, but we're going to dive into that, how critical that, that actually is is especially for the immune system and uh, keeping things like sore throats under control echinacea tea lemon or throat coat tea that oftentimes have things like echinacea things like uh, deglyceride licorice root and um, lemon peel that uh, can be really really good for soothing the throat so lemon water lemon again is rich in vitamin c as well as bioflavonoids so good for anti-aging so good for the immune system so good for, as a natural sterilizing agent too, helps kill off bad bacteria, just really good for the body. So I would recommend drinking lots of lemon water, especially if you have a sore throat, drinking it. And then if you don't, as a preventative measure and just a good measure for oxygenating and energizing your body, drinking lemon water on a regular basis is awesome. If you have the sore throat, I would definitely recommend fresh squeezed lemon. Uh, if you don't, you may want to do something like uh, essential oil. Uh, lemon essential oil, put a few drops in your water, or uh, maybe a uh, lemon juice that you could try as well. Those aren't as potent, and so therefore the fresh squeezed lemon is definitely the best, especially if you're trying to overcome the sore throat. Let's see some good sources of vitamin C. Yellow bell peppers are very powerful form of vitamin, vitamin C, and, and red peppers are actually as well. Uh, you have things like guava, um, you've got lemons and limes, we just talked about that strawberries, papaya, broccoli, kale, grapefruit, orange, kiwi. Now, in general, we want to avoid the higher sugar ones. So really keeping the fruit out, except for the lemons and limes, because they just really don't have any sugar in them when you're trying to overcome this. So I would definitely recommend doing things like bell peppers, okay, as well as green leafy vegetables, and uh, doing lemons and limes, like we discussed already. These would be powerful forms of vitamin C to help support the immune system. And look at this right here. We know that basically an immune cell needs 50 times the amount of vitamin C uh, as a, a normal cell. And, it has, and our, our immune cells, our white blood cells, have 20 times the amount of insulin receptors. And that's the same hormone that takes sugar out of the bloodstream and puts it into the cell because really ultimately insulin plays a role with vitamin C upregulation as well. It helps bring vitamin C into the cell. So here's what happens. When we are we have a blood sugar that's high, then our white blood cells can only destroy 25% as many viruses and bacteria. Why? Because of the sugar. And so the sugar is competing with the vitamin C. So this is one way that we develop things like sore throats and fevers and flus. We've got to keep our vitamin C levels up and our sugar levels down. That's so critical. So I recommend when I have individuals that are trying to overcome a sore throat or if they have lowered immunity, that we use this product called Super C, which is basically like nature-born vitamin C. It's got 
the vitamin C with bioflavonoids in a one-to-one -one ratio, which is awesome for supporting adrenal activity. So giving people energy and helping overcome adrenal fatigue, helping them sleep well, very good for the immune system, for cell life, and for reducing inflammation in the um, arterial beds and the capillaries. So Super C is extremely powerful. And I'll have people do something like two to four caps every one to two hours, uh, depending on what their condition is. But usually we'll do something like two grams of vitamin C every two hours, two waking hours, to keep strengthening the immune system to help it overcome fevers, flus, sore throats, and different issues like that. So that's our Super C product. Now, another thing we want to do is oil pulling. And I recommend doing oil pulling, particularly with coconut oil, although you definitely can do it with something like olive oil or avocado oil as well. Basically, you just take, and really you don't even need a tablespoon, you really just take about a teaspoon of coconut oil, you put that in your mouth, you swish it around for about 10, 20 minutes, don't swallow it, and then finally spit the oil out and brush your teeth. So it'll help grab up bacteria and microorganisms, as well as the microorganism debris that's being released. That is so important. We've got to reduce our overall microbial load in order to overcome the sore throat. So sore throat or fever or flu is a sign of a high level of microbial load. So a really powerful or just a, a lot of, of microorganisms and a, a, a big microorganism load on our body. So oil pulling is a great way to reduce the microbial load to help strengthen the immune system. How about ginger tea? So ginger tea is extremely powerful. Um, I'm a huge fan of ginger tea, and ginger is something that's really soothing for the throat. So doing ginger tea on a regular basis, very good to prevent a sore throat and to overcome a sore throat. Also bone broth, um, and, and the best way to do bone broth is obviously to make it yourself from a like a chicken carcass or beef bones, something along those lines, a great way to make bone broth. However, you can also purchase organic free-range chicken broth. From the store, if you're a vegan, you could do uh, vegetable broth and you can warm that up and that is fantastic and so good for the immune system. In fact, chicken soup is called uh, Jewish penicillin because the Jews would always use chicken soup. They were known for that and to overcome things like sore throats and fevers and flus. And we know today that the, the bone broth, the marrow that's in the bones, is obviously where the white blood cells are formed, where they actually form and develop. So getting in those nutrients is so good, getting in that bone marrow, as well as an amino acid called glycine, which is really good for our immune system, that's in high prevalence in the bones, in the uh, joints, as opposed to the muscle meats. In our society, most people are eating a lot of muscle meats, but not a lot of joints. And our ancestors would eat the joints. And so the joints have different amino acids like glycine and proline that help support uh, healing the leaky gut as well as uh, your joints, your hair, your nails. So it's a beauty food, your skin, and your immune system. So bone broth, so good. We definitely want to be using that. And then loading it up, making a soup or a stew, putting in things like garlic and onions. Garlic and onions, so good for the immune system absolutely powerful and uh, so loading up on these can be a really effective way to overcome a sore throat quickly really effective way to bounce back from a fever or a flu so garlic and onions garlic could definitely be more powerful than the onion but the onion is very good as well uh, and then doing something like a throat coat tea this one's got lemon and echinacea uh, these also have a lot of different herbs in them that help to soothe the throat so we already talked about the benefits of lemon echinacea is one of the best things for killing off viruses and just strengthening the immune system in general. So viral uh, form of sore throat, viral infection, echin lemon echinacea tea would be absolutely amazing for it. So we definitely want to be using things like traditional medicinals, organic teas. These are great. Okay, and then zinc. Zinc is so critical. Most people don't realize how important zinc is, but you can see right here, the bone marrow, the thymus, this is where, you know, where we have immune cells and where immune cells are formed. And when we are zinc deficient, it causes abnormal development of these immune organs. And what happens? We get poor and weak immune system function. So we definitely want to do zinc. And I recommend if you're getting sick often, you have sore throats regularly, definitely doing some zinc supplementation can be really helpful. One of the most inexpensive but most 
powerful supplements you can find is a high quality zinc supplement and particularly a zinc glycinate form. You know, we talked about these amino acids like glycine in the bone broth, which is really good for your immune system and that most people in America are just not getting enough glycine. It's also very critical for phase two liver detoxification. And so we need this glycine and for zinc to really be absorbed into our bloodstream and utilized, it needs an amino acid carrier. So what better amino acid carrier than a glycine carrier? This is one of the reasons why we made this product, Zinc Charge, which is a zinc glycinate form. So good for the immune system. And so I will typically have people do, if they have a sore throat and they're trying to recover from it, 20 milligram dosage of zinc charge here. And typically doing this um, every two hours can be really, really powerful. So two grams of vitamin C, 20 milligrams of zinc every two hours until you knock this out. The whole time you're drinking bone broth, you are um, you're doing herbal teas, like we talked about, that lemon echinacea herbal tea. Uh, very, very powerful. We're putting garlic in our bone broth. Um, we can also put green leafy vegetables in there. We want to eat very light. It's important for our immune system to eat light. If we're eating a heavy meal, that's going to take energy away from our immune system. So we want to eat light. We want to support our body with lots of liquids. So critical. We can do apple cider vinegar. Uh, as discussed before, lemon water, herbal teas, these are all very, very, very key ways to strengthen the immune system to overcome the sore throat quickly and effectively. And so I hope you got a lot out of this presentation. And if you want to learn more about how to take back control of your health, definitely visit us at our website, drjockers.com. And we work with people also locally and long distance. So if you are having a health problem and you want coaching and you want support, you can contact either myself or um, my functional diagnostic nutritionist, Haley Gibson, who's absolutely excellent. And we'll look at in detailed labs. You may have already had labs done or we can order labs for you. Um, we do nutrition and lifestyle coaching. So we set you up on specific nutrition plans as well as um, helping you with, with uh, specific lifestyle steps. We also use advanced supplementation based on lab work and based on things we're seeing clinically in order to help you overcome your health challenges and really achieve your health goals. And so if you're out there and you're struggling with a health problem, I would definitely recommend contacting us. Um, you can drop Haley an email at nutrition at drjockers.com, nutrition at drjockers.com. Let her know what you're struggling with. And again, we'd be super happy and privileged and honored to be able to serve you and help you accomplish your health goals. So that's it for today's training. We look forward to seeing you on a future training with us. God bless you guys and have a wonderful, exceptional day. Bye-bye.